Fondation Henri Cartier-Bresson and uh, Magnum Photos are very grateful and very happy that we can present our exhibition Henri Cartier-Bresson in India in the context of the exhibition Eye on Gandhi at the Nobel Peace Center in Oslo. Uh, Henri Cartier-Bresson met Mahatma Gandhi <coughs> in 1948 and um, Unfortunately, it was just uh, before the death of Gandhi when he was killed by a Hindu, Hindu uh, terrorist. And this was maybe also, um, let's say, the moment where Henri Cartier-Bresson um, became um, a documentary photographer because he realized that he was um, at a place in a time where suddenly um, there was a historical story to tell. Um, it was the historical moment of the independence of India, but then came the tragedy of the death and he wanted to tell it in a comprehensive way so that people who hadn't um, been at the event could actually um, follow the trace of the story he was able to follow uh, in that moment. Shortly before Henri Cartier-Bresson arrived uh, in India, he founded with other fellow photographers uh, a photographic agency uh, which was actually um, directed by those ph photographers and um, so he at that point in May 1947 uh, acknowledged to become a documentary photographer, something that he didn't really was before. So Gandhi's death in, in a way is the breakthrough of the photojournalist, the documentary photographer Henri Cartier-Bresson. It was his first uh, big story, uh, very largely published story, and so these two moments, the one of Henri Cartier-Bresson becoming suddenly uh, uh, this uh, docu documentary photographer that's published all over the world, and the death of the leader of the Indian independence, these two moments culminate in that series that is shown here at the Nobel Peace Center. The Gandhi reportage is maybe not so um, representative of Henri Cartier-Bresson's um, work. It is more historical in a way and it tries to follow the events. Um, Henri Cartier-Bresson did these kind of uh, documentations, but he's more known for uh, his very well composed photographs, like this one. In fact, um, he says that for him the most important thing in a picture is the composition, is the geometry, is the form, and in that form in that composition can happen things. And uh, I think that this is a very beautiful picture uh, showing a little bit um, this reference for ge ge geometry. Um, we have seen loads and loads of pictures of starving children. This is another one. But it goes beyond um, the search uh, for pity and 
grief and things like that. It has a, a very beautiful formal structure. You have the wheel and the structure of the wheel with the spikes is actually followed here by the bones of the child and the hand of the mother. This is not um, a hazard, this is not a coincidence, this is something that he saw and he in a split second realized and this is why he took this picture.